Welcome to Discord on friends. I am your host Vinod. In this series, we are going to cover Python basics. Okay, this is the module one series, and uh, we'll uh, come up with the new modules as per the your area of interest, and we'll add the more and more programming skills into the Discover Talent channel. Okay, in this series, what we are going to cover the agenda we have in place. Okay, so let me check with the agenda. So we are covering up with the part history about the Python. So what, how Python evolved. Okay, and uh, how we are going to know leverage those particular. Python language for our current uh, project or maybe organization where are we working on? Second is 4w1h formula. So it's in a again it's in a made by me or maybe customized I can say. Uh, but you can even check post the uh, this particular introduction round has been done. Post that you know you can check that what is exactly that particular formula. What is the system requirement? So when we are installing the Python. So that time we would need a system requirement. So what is that system requirement? We need to understand that. So that is the system requirement we are going to cover. Again, the fourth uh, topic, which is a very important topic, which is called installation. So that we are going to cover in this particular series itself. Okay. So hold on and you know watch this video until the end. And last but not the least, and my favorite one. Okay. Uh, you will learn one programming language, or maybe that's it. That is basically right. That's your Python, but you will learn how to write a code okay without any support so i'll you know explain you this step by step this will help you to you know uh, upskill yourself in your career ladder so watch out this video until the end till then see ya As you can see, uh, I typed this keyword on the search engine, and you can see the importance of Python. And undoubtedly, we are also going to cover that particular topic over here. So let me just pull up this screen in a zoomer format. So this will help you to know understand what we are going to cover it up. Okay. So prior we go ahead. Just wanted to keep you posted that you know uh, Discover Talent is offering a free certification as well. Uh, if you are keen interested to have the certification from us, you can you know just uh, comment on the YouTube channel and we'll give you the survey. We'll roll out the survey. We'll check your knowledge and accordingly we'll uh, you know give you the certification and you can just add that on your LinkedIn profile. Uh, we'll go to the next slide. Here in this next slide, uh, we are covering the agenda. So agenda is basically history about the Python 4w1h formula. Again, it's in a customized formula which we have prepared. It's not uh, driven or maybe added somewhere. So you can just you know, uh, keep that part aside. But however, you can just focus on history about the Python system requirement installation and the how to write a code. This I have clearly explained uh, in the upcoming slider, so I'm not going to take a more time on it. So let me go into the slide number three. Here, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll quickly give you the round of introduction about the Python. Okay, and you will get the same information over your any kind of a search engine. Yeah, uh, it's in a high-level programming language created by Godot von Rossum, and it's released in the year 1991. Okay, basically my birth year. Yeah. And for W1H formula, it's basically I have you know uh, kept it in this particular form. This will you know, help us to understand what exactly we are going to cover in this uh, topic. So why we learn Python? Okay, as you rightly uh, seen on the search engine as well, it's in the best uh, programming language, easy to understand, easy to adapt. Even if you are a starter and you have a no skill about the programming language, you can directly start. Okay, it's in a personal recommendation. Go with the uh, Python. Uh, this will help you to know uh, at least to you know make us make sense for about your data or maybe logic correct uh, why we learn this project this is the run on any of the tool right you know mac linux raspberry pi and windows currently i'm using P, uh, uh, windows so i'm just you know running the python on my windows system only that's a popular language easy to code easy to learn again i have already explained this uh, with this particular Python language, what we can do, we can create a web applications, create a workflows. We can connect uh, across databases. Okay, if we need to access a you know data uh, from the different different locations, we can you know plug in those with the help of Python code. And Python code is a very easy code. Okay, guys, you can create your own projects as well. Okay, 
and then who should learn the python anyone can learn okay as i have uh, mentioned and even summer vacations is on right and if you if you are a parent okay and who is watching my channel i would recommend encourage your uh, no uh, member maybe uh, i'm extremely sorry for the network uh, encourage your the person who is watching my channel if he is or she is a parent you can you know ask your children to you know get enroll for the python and learn the python okay this will help them to you know uh, go on the career ladder okay because it's in a futuristic uh, programming language i would suggest uh, so uh, i would recommend go with the python language where it will be used it will be used in server side okay mathematics statistics as i rightly mentioned uh, system scripting and then software development basically what is the system requirement we know uh, you know we need to understand about the system requirement so i have you know added that system requirement in the upcoming slide so i'll not click on the uh, url over here however uh, you know you can directly go in this particular url because i am uh, shooting this particular video today right so may uh, 2022 right so this may be video be a longer time so that's the reason i'm just saying uh, you can check the system requirement on this particular website okay so we'll get the updated information over there how will be used okay how it will be used easy to install easy to learn as like a english language so whatever language is you are uh, it's not a english basically yeah whatever language you are uh, listening or maybe learning uh, in a parallel phase right likewise you can you know learn this particular language as well it's a you know, very easy not difficult you know even syntax are also very easy one uh, i personally recommend we'll move on to the next slider okay and if you guys have any questions okay regarding the uh, any slider you know just paste into the below comment section and just add the slide number so and so uh, sir i have so and so question so i can you know, help you out with the answer appropriate answer system requirement uh, we have covered that part in the system number 3 system requirement uh, slide number 3 uh, it is what is system requirement so those particular uh, system requirement we are going to cover in this uh, slider yeah so so far what we have covered so let me go into the again the deck first we have covered it up the agenda we cover it up with the brief round of introduction about the python and then where are we going to use it how to use it who will use it and uh, what is the use of it yeah system requirement so basically system requirement uh, meaning of system requirement when we installing the uh, any software right there would be uh, some sort of uh, uh memory issue maybe you know or maybe system is capable enough to you know, handle that particular software we need to check that right so that's the reason we are going to check that system requirement so even in your even your mobile right when you are downloading any kind of an app that time it's check that your compatibility or not android device or maybe ios perfect likewise is a system requirement uh, may change hence recommend go to the python org now i'll uh, quickly show you the uh, steps uh, about the python installation how we are going to use it and uh, you know we'll go with the one by one steps so first you need to click on the uh, this particular url okay so let me skip this part and then control or maybe just copy this url and just go here and just type control v okay you will get a, a website like this okay click on the downloads okay uh, download the latest version of windows and you will get the option like this when you click on this option you can save it somewhere here yeah at your location okay i have already installed this uh, i'll quickly you know uh, show you how i am installing this particular part okay installation has been done now let me quickly start with the next steps okay choose the appropriate version based on the current the operating system which i have already did uh, i have checked the system uh, was a version basically the latest version this is the 3.10.14 this is the latest version check and check the option whenever needed while we are installing the python right you have seen that i have clicked on the check and check option in the python yeah 
and then i would personally recommend you know select all and it would be recommended because you know you will not skip any kind of an you know, old tool so that's the reason i've just said uh install everything whatever you are getting it run command type python and then python version okay so i'll type over here when i you will get the notification like this okay and just type cmd command which is called command okay this is the user yeah and then you will type as a python version so you can see the latest python has been installed in my system if not then i'll get the error that's for sure yeah we'll jump to the next slider python program will help you uh, to write your programs in you know, two ways okay with the help of ide or maybe command lines you can you know write your programs command lines so basically when you are typing the command uh, this is the path where you need to type your uh, programs so here you can see this is the path right username and then name the basically the user's name and then you will add the uh, whatever installation you have been done right so i have did the python installation so i'll get the pop up like this yeah and when you type any code okay just type print hello world okay so you will type the print hello world for your this is your first program easy steady steps okay so this is your first program which you have uh, uh, congratulations first of all okay which you have started with your uh, first programming languages uh, and this is the code and if not okay uh, you can directly do this with the ide as well you will need to open any notepad or maybe any ide you have already developed or maybe installed in your system like this just open it up save that i'll just open that up then okay when you click on the uh, open button you will get a pop up like this okay ideally and you will add print this hello world and you will save this in your file somewhere and ensure that you know you are selecting the appropriate path so in this pc i have the c drive where in the c drive itself i need to ensure that i am saving this file in appropriate folder like this yeah hello world 1 so when i save this particular file you can carefully observe hello world 1.py the py is the extension .py is the extension for the python yeah so when we run this particular file uh, on our command prompt that time we need to add this particular path this will help us to run the or maybe execute our first program okay i hope you found this useful folks so please uh, give me thumbs up on this particular channel and i would recommend uh, to please go on this particular uh, channel and search me on the uh, any of the search engine thanks for watching have a great day ahead